Hello, this is James McCorn, and today I'm going to be talking about Shadow PC and how it compares to Liquid Sky. Uh, so without further ado, let me dig right in. This in front of me is my Shadow PC. It has completely blown away my expectations. And as an early adopter, I must say that this is what Liquid Sky should have been. Now, I don't speak merely out of ignorance. I've used Liquid Sky. You can see my previous videos. And they used to have an unlimited tier, which I used quite a lot. Uh, but Liquid Sky has succumbed to almost the same effect as on live did in that they have over allocated their limited resources and it really makes a pretty terrible gaming or productivity experience so you might be saying well hey um what do you mean and i'll let you know first of all liquid sky has switched over to a credit tier system and they allow a lot of free gamers to play and they don't have an unlimited tier anymore uh, so what ends up happening is their CPUs are shared. So even though it looks like you're not really using the CPU, they're actually being used all the time. And that actually does have a response on performance and latency. So as you uh, try and engage or play games or go about with productivity, um, it isn't instantaneous because the CPUs are always being in use so when you need to use the cpu you have to sit in line waiting whereas shadow pc and this is why i bring it up it's very important dedicates eight cores to you it's not hyper threading it's none of that no they dedicate eight cores to you and these are dedicated you know intel xeon e5 2620 v4 at 2.1 gigahertz and they also dedicate to you a graphics card that is amazingly powerful this is a nvidia quadro p5000 on the shadow pc on uh liquid sky they don't tell you what you get but you know it's it, once again even the graphics card is a shared resource so you know let's go ahead and, and test this thing this is an 8k video on youtube playing at 1.5 times speed. And I am able, using WASD, to pan around and get amazing performance out of this. And mind you, this Shadow PC is streaming this stuff over a Comcast internet connection off of this pathetic Samsung 700T. And I dug this out of the uh, trash heap of my technology bin to show you that this shadow PC is only consuming like 17, almost 20 megabits per second, and yet it's playing 8K video on there now at 1.5 times speed. It is amazingly good. You cannot do this on Liquid Sky. The, the over allocation and shared resources is just suboptimal. And as you can see, you know, hey, video decode on this. Quadro P5000 handles 8K video at 1.5 times speed amazingly well. Look how much dedicated GPU memory you have to play with. So I am very, very impressed with Shadow PC. I've already used it to play Team Fortress 2 and uh, Overwatch and a Cosmeteer. Uh, what are the games? Civ 6, Civ 5. Uh, I did notice one important thing that I need to point out. When you have a older machine with no... Um, I would say modern GPU decode of video, and it's mostly decoded by the CPU, um, first-person shooters are just a little bit sluggish. However... Um, on something uh, a little bit more modern where the GPU can decode video straight on the device. Um, it, it, you could play first person shooters day in, day out. I am very excited about Shadow PC. I can't wait to get their Shadow Box, uh, which would allow me to move this Samsung 700T off my desk. Um, yeah, but I am just absolutely blown away by Shadow PC. And unlike Liquid Sky, which had a bunch of promises and failed to deliver, we have uh, Shadow PC, which 
has been around in France for quite some time, has continued to deliver on their promises. They just upgraded everyone in France to 1080 Ti's uh, about two months ago, and uh, as of this video. And uh, they just deployed in California, and I'm very happy. They have a decent track record, so I know that they're not going to engage in bait and switch like I felt like what Sky ended up doing. Um, and it's dedicated, and I was able to pick up Civ 6 straight from... Uh, the PC directly to my phone here and uh, it worked really really well so look forward to hearing what you guys have to say this is James McCorn signing off